What up, folks? Uh, this this video gonna be about these uh these young little black girls out here just running wild and talking and having sex. And when I can remember when I was coming up, girls were they was like girls were scared of the boys and the boys were scared of the girls so. The boys hung around the boys, playing in the field, riding the bike, playing the game, while the girls over here playing house, makeup, dress up, whatever. But these these girls these days, from ages 14 to some go 17, talking about having sex or having sex. And I done heard this with my own ears of girls out here saying, yeah, he, we had sex like this. And I know they never but 16, 15, still at middle school. He like, yeah, he had me like this, humping like this. I'm like, y'all too young to be talking about sex. And it's another thing what I'll get if, if, if you are not having sex, but you portraying you are having sex and the the little boys find out that you ain't having sex, they gonna pick and tease at you. They gonna you know what I'm saying make fun at you saying, Oh, you ain't having sex, you, you just lying. So that peer pressure is gonna get them. That peer that peer pressure is gonna gonna make them do some stuff they ain't wanna do yet. Like give up your virginity and then you might mess around, get pregnant or catch a S T D. So, if you know you're not having sex, don't even don't even put yourself in that category where you saying, "Yeah, I'm having sex," or me and so and so did it the other day, or somewhere down the line. And, and, and see, that's that that's to me that's that that's just crazy. At that young age, man, you're supposed to be worrying about trying to get out of middle school, get out of high school. And go on and do what you want to do for the rest of your life. But these little fast heifers out here, they want to have sex because they what other people say or what they hear in the songs or what they see on TV. No. So the the the, the young ladies out there, man, hold hold on to your your virginity because you you don't want to lose it to the wrong person and then regret it <clears throat> regret it later on but these the, the cats these days too young man they, I mean they acting like sex is just it, I don't know cause like I said when I'm coming up the girls went, girls weren't even thinking about that girls were thinking about playing makeup dress up playing games and stuff you know what I'm saying with, with the girl these girls, huh, they want to play sex games. Then turn around and get pregnant. Looking crazy. I, I don't know. Like, it's, 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 it's these three sisters that stay out here. The older sister is... The older sister got to be 17 or 16. Up in there somewhere, it might be 18. One of them, then she got two more younger sisters under her. So the older sister already already don't have a kid. And now, I used to see the two younger sisters. Well, one of them, we got some a basketball court and some bushes. So I just see one of them and a some some boy go over there in the bushes. So I'm like, see, you too young. To be talking about having sex. Same thing go for meals too. Y'all need to sit sit down somewhere, go to school, worry about getting out of school, finding a job, then worry about sex, family, whatever. But y'all want to sit here at a young age, then you catch something. You, can, you might catch something you can't get rid of. So I told myself, I said I give my I give them other two sisters. I want to. I will. I give them till they get out of high school or before they get out of high school. I pray this don't happen. But the way the way they acting and the way 
and, and, and who they hang around with, they're going to end up having a baby before they even get out of high school or middle school, which are one they in. I hate to say it, but every time I see them, they run around. They ain't told one of my homeboys, hey, out the blue, when we going to have sex? Like, like, like it ain't nothing. I'm like, he told me that. He like, man, he said, I turned around and that girl said, hey, when we going to have sex? I'm looking like, man, you are too young to be talking about having sex. So, worry about school, jobs, and life, man. Don't worry about trying to have no sex. Because once you get older, you like, ugh. This sex stuff sometimes get boring. Like, you gotta, I don't know. But, they, it, 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 this generation here is just, this generation here, I hate to say it, this messed up. They corrupt. I mean, I be seeing young girl. I seen young girl come to him a day with a. Uh, I know she went older than sixteen with wearing a, a, a mini skirt. I say, see, you attracting the wrong, the the wrong crowd to you. But hey, but uh, if you're a young black girl, and you around a group of people that's always talking about sex. Talking about they having sex and you had and you and you haven't had sex yet, leave that group alone. Because th that they gonna find out that you are not having sex and then they gonna use that peer pressure to make you have sex and you might end up getting pregnant, catch an STD, STD, oh my bad, or you might catch something that you can't get rid of. So if you're in that kind of group and they just Talking about who they don't have sex with, and you ain't ain't having sex yet. Just walk away because they gonna pressure you into having sex with somebody, and end up you gonna end up regretting it. So if you are a young black woman or a boy, teenagers, young, still babies. And if you ain't having sex, but you around people who always talking about it at your same age group, just just leave them alone. Cause nine times ten, they gonna press you into doing something you don't want to do. So all I say, hey, just just walk away from it. Peace.